Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Eve and this is Books of the Wild Waters and today I will be showing you the unboxing of February 2021. So this is prudenceandthecrow.com. It is a vintage book subscription service run by two ladies from London and you can choose from several genres like classics, sci-fi, thrillers, random or books for children and you can have the subscription for either like just a one-off or three months, six months, 12 months or a rolling subscription starting with £16 for the one-off. All of these are bespoke because you get a questionnaire after you actually bought the subscription and the box always includes a paperback, a handmade book bag, a library card and some more bookish trinkets. They also have a shop here where you can buy bookish stuff like magnets and badges and rare and special editions of books and also translations from other languages. And yeah, that's what you have here with Prudence and the Crow. So here we go. Let's see what Prudence and the Crow sent me. That's it. Open it now. Oh, it's wrapped again. Oh, it's so cool. <laughs> Look at that. It's so beautiful. I'm like, I don't even want to open it. It's so be beautiful. I really, I will keep this. The, the, the wrapping is so beautiful. There's some stuff in here as well, not just a book. So we got some candy. And tea. So a bag of rice and shine. And a bag of snore and peace. Some oh, that's a sticker. There's some kind of small bag here. Let's open it. Oh, it's a pen. It's a pen. It's one of my most favorite quotes by Oscar Wilde. Be yourself because everyone else is already taken. Can you see that? So be yourself because everyone else is already taken. I don't know whether it's actually focusing. This is so beautiful. I love it. Oh, and then we have like um, a postcard. 
and there is like a a poetry reading list on on the back of it that's beautiful and there's like a small card So, there's a nice pouch here, it's beautiful, feels like a cushion, <laughs> and let's see what I got. Daphne de Maria de Maika in. <laughs> I'm so happy about that. <laughs> um, the story about this is here that um, when I got a short questionnaire of Prudence and the Crowd, what I would love to receive and, you know, what kind of offers I'm reading, they asked me, which book would you love to receive from us? And I said that something from Daphne du Maurier. And I really thought that they would just take it as um, as like a hint of what kind of offers they could send me. But I did not think that they would really send me something by Daphne du Maurier. And the funny thing is that I really haven't read that yet. I just read Frenchman's Creek um, in January, which you can see in my wrap up. So I will read the synopsis for you. So her famous story of dark events along the Cornish coast or another one <laughs> a strange greeting and sinister hints await Mary Yellen when she comes to live at Jamaica Inn with her evil giant of an uncle I'm not drunk enough to tell you why I live in this godforsaken spot and why I'm the landlord of Jamaica Inn the coarse brutality of uh, Joe's Marilyn and the enigmatic character of his brother Jem give an exciting foretaste of her triumph novel Rebecca. Interesting. The side is a bit battered, but otherwise it's still in good condition. And I actually wanted to read this book. It was on my wish list. And so I'm very, very happy that I got it. It's great. Oh, and I just realized that um, something fell down from my unwrapping of Prudence and the Crow. It was a small paper clip that I still received and I just wanted to add that as well. So this is HowNovel.com. These are mystery books for adults and children. And you can have either subscriptions for free 6 and 12 months or you can do a one-off. You can also buy gift cards for one, two or three books. The special thing about How Novel is that you have on the wrapping paper four clues what's inside, so to say. You have also a word that is working as a description, like a title for the book. And together with the clues, you have hints, so to say, what kind of book might be wrapped here.
I thought the idea is super interesting and I had to contact the customer service because the books that I actually wanted were sold out and they helped me to order them in the background and send them to me, although they didn't have them anymore and would not stock them again. So this is something I really, really appreciated and it was wonderful to get help from them. So this is how long. So how novels always has a word that is some kind of a hint to the book that you will be receiving. And I had three books that I actually ordered with them with the words ruthless, radical and mirrored. And we should see on the uh, wrapping of the book, we should also see some of the hints of what is in the book. So let's see. And I have no idea. <laughs> which one we will be seeing now. So let's have a look. So, so I still have it wrapped here. from the How Novel team. So you have the three hints here, uh, the four hints, cannot count anymore. So you have Courage, The Deep South, A Double Life and Historical. I think this is the one that had the information, you know, the word mirrored. So let's see what's in there. I want to keep the covers so I'll make sure that I'm not destroying everything here. So let's see which one this is. Oh no, 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 no. Oh. Oh yes, it's the downstairs girl! <laughs> I had this on my wish list as well. This is so great. <laughs> Oh my god, you have no idea how, how happy I am about this book. <laughs> now I'm back because I will of course have to read that to you and... Um, I can do this with my glasses. So yeah, this is The Downstairs Girl by Stacey Lee. And the funny thing is that you can see one of my favorite authors of a YA fantasy, Stephanie Garber, who actually said a, tri a triumph of storytelling. So, Joe Kuanan is leading a double life. By day she works as a quiet lady's maid, but by night she is the voice behind the most radical advice column in 1819's Atlanta. Joe is used to living life on the margins, invisible except for the occasional looks of disdain, but she won't let it hold her back. While her priority is making sure that she and her father remain safe in their hideaway beneath a print shop, she still has ambition. And strong opinions of her own that she begins to share in a newspaper advice column under the pseudonym Miss Sweetie. Suddenly, all of Atlanta is talking about her ideas, although little do they know that the witty advice comes from a penniless Chinese girl. As curiosity about Miss Sweetie mounts, Joe's secret identity may not stay secret for much longer. And as she learns more of the hard truths about her identity and her country, she must find the courage to decide between being herself or staying invisible. Oh wow, this is, this is already like first pick. 
and first mystery great <laughs> i love it so let's see what the next one is Just getting some scissors here. So we have um, 1851, historical, a ghost, a feral, London, and cross paths. The Wall of Beauty by Michaela Roberts or Michelle Roberts. Booker Price shortlisted author of Daughters of the House. Okay. Let's see what this is about. 1851. Joseph Benson picks his way through the city streets of Suffolk trying to coax testimonies from the borough's prostitutes without yielding to the city's many temptations. But when his mission brings him to the mysterious apricot place, presided over by the bewitching and formidable Mrs. Dulcimer, Joseph falls helplessly under its spell. Over a hundred years later, Madeleine loses her job as a lecturer and moves to a quiet South London cul-de-sac. But a current of unseen life runs through the house, strange voices, a breath at her neck, another woman's face glimpsed in the mirror. The Observer said, as well as London's pathways and waterways, Roberts explores the human heart and in lyrical language locates beauty in unexpected places. And the time sets, pulsing with ideas and brimming with life. That's great. I'm really, really interested. I... I think this is this is not just the cut the, the cover is beautiful and it's really really interesting i really like it and let's see what the last one is So we have um, A120 AD, which is historical, we have The Throne, and we have Stolen Dreams, and Scotland. This was one of the reasons why I wanted to have this one, because um, I hope that this is, um, of course, something including Scottish history or something like this. Whoever read these parcels, you know, they knew what they were doing. Joanna Courtney, 
the Blood Queen. The tale of Lady Macbeth? <laughs> wow! Code Ruthless Deadly, or the Queen Her Country Deserved. Scotland in 1020 AD. King Malcolm II lies on his deathbed and the most powerful families make a violent claim for the Scottish throne. On the eve of her 16th birthday, a flushed and nervous Cora Macduff waits to marry her sweetheart, Macbeth. But her dreams are stolen from her and the night she was hoping for turns into a brutal slaughter. In order to reclaim the life she was promised, Cora must learn to use every weapon at her disposal, even those she loves. The myth of Lady Macbeth looms large. This is her story. Some of the comments here are like glorious, rich, epic, absorbing and emotional and heart-rending. I think this might be the one that I'm most interested about. Although it was not on my wish list, like the downstairs girl, for example. This is like awesome. <laughs> ah, I really love it. I really love it. So I must really say that um, How Novels has absolutely surprised me. I can only recommend this now that I have seen this, uh, what I actually received. So let's just go about the free books. Wow, um, I'm just blown away. I really love it. How novel? Wow, number one pick for this month. I must say, um, if I have to choose now between, I mean, Prudence and the Crow is something completely different um, than how novels, but this is like, wow, guys, this is so great. Thank you very, very much. I'm so happy that I ordered these three. These are amazing. Oh my god, I'm so happy.